Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. Uh, I'm going to share with you guys my first fairly big haul video of 2016. Um, I went to two rummage sales yesterday, two garage sales yesterday, and a bunch of garage sales um, this morning. Probably about, I don't know, 10 or so. Um, so I'm going to try and fit all of this into one video, but we'll see. So I'm going to start out with some things that have sold over the past few days. Um, in addition to all this stuff I'm going to show you, I also just sold um, I had a Sonicare toothbrush that I bought for $5 at a yard sale brand new in the box. And I just sold that two days ago for $120 of free shipping. So I was very happy about that. And then today I sold another pack of these crayons that I've been showing you guys. This I think is the sixth, so I have six more boxes to go. Uh, that was eight dollars in free shipping. Sold this big rubber stamp that I got, I think it's almost two years ago now, um, at a rummage sale and took a best offer on it of thirteen dollars with free shipping and paid twenty-five cents for it initially. This is a very old book from, I believe, the late 1800s called The Odd Fellows Offering. Um, I think it's about the Masons and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, yeah, see, it's very old. Anyway, the cover's falling off. It's a disaster, but I still managed to get $19.99 with free shipping out of it today. Then, these are two things that I recently bought that I showed you, I believe, in my last haul video. Uh, this is one of the Avon uh, Ideal Flawless Matte something, Matte Mousse Foundation. Um, this got a bid for $14.99 with free shipping, so that's going to end tonight. This is Saturday, by the way. Saturday the 16th? Yeah, Saturday the 16th. Um, my son's at work, and my husband and my daughter went to church so I figured <laughs> I'll do this while it's nice and quiet in the house. And then I sold the works of Lewis Carroll which I showed you guys last week and I was worried it wouldn't sell because somebody had ripped this page out in front of the title page but this also has a bid uh, for $24.99 with free shipping and then it'll go media mail. So Very happy about that. All right, so that's everything that's sold and now I'm going to try and show you everything that I bought this past couple of days. I may or may not be able to fit this in one video, so we'll see. Um, I went to two rummage sales. Thankfully, they were probably about two, three miles apart. I had never been to one of them before, so I decided to go that one first and take my chances, and it ended up that that was the better one, so I made the right decision there. Um, it was a very strange place. There was the church, and then next to it, I'm assuming it was like the parsonage or something like that, but when you went in, it looked like a much smaller building than it was. And you walk in, and there's a room to the left, and then the floor had a cement floor, and the floor slanted down a little bit and went into another room, and then the floor slanted a little bit more in another direction, and you went down a hallway, and then the floor slanted again, and you went down into this other big room. It was so freaky. It, I felt like I was in Buffalo Bill's lair in Silence of the Lambs. I was expecting to walk into the big room where the majority of the stuff was and just see a big hole in the floor with someone saying, put the lotion in the basket. It was freaky. But anyway, <laughs> thankfully it was not like that. There were very nice people working there. Actually, they were really, really nice. Well, the first thing I found was this, which is actually for my son. I don't know if you guys can see this very well, but it's a glass dragon. I got him for a dollar, which was a steal, and bought that because he's really into wizards and dragons and knights and all that stuff. And when um, my first husband passed away, my son was only three months old. And my husband had this whole big pewter collection, pewter figurines and a few um, other like pottery style dragons or glass dragons. And he had a big glass dragon just like that one. And when my son got to be around eight or nine, he started to get into the same kind of stuff, which I thought was kind of weird since his father wasn't around to influence him. But he got into the same stuff. So I used to take 
the boxes of my husband's collection out of the attic every December and I would wrap up like two or three of the pieces and put them in a bag under the tree and put a tag on it that said, you know, from daddy. And he always knew that was his present from daddy. And then I gave that to him for probably a good 10 years and obviously I ran out of pieces. So whenever I find a piece that's worthy of going into his collection and kind of continuing the tradition, I do it. So, got that. I'll save that for his birthday or Christmas. Okay, moving on. Um, the only other thing I bought for myself, or for us to keep, was this. And I bought, there are actually two of these, and I can't do them justice in the video. But it's this big, long, probably like six foot long garland. There's four of these snowflakes connected together. And they're gorgeous. They're all beaded. I mean, the amount of work that went into these is extraordinary. They're made in India. And I paid $2 total for both of the garlands. So I'm very happy to get those and we'll be finding some place for those at Christmas. Okay, now for the stuff to sell. I found this little porcelain book flask. It says the gift is shell. Goodwill, wait, the gift is small. Goodwill is all. There we go. Yes, I can read. This is from the Metropolitan Museum of Art. That's why I bought it. Unfortunately, my phone did not work in this like dungeon I was in so I kind of had to take my chances with things so there are a few things that if I my phone had worked I probably wouldn't have bought and this was one of them there are a lot of them on eBay and they really don't sell that well might get 8 to 10 on it then whoops, I got this just because I'd never seen one before this was also a dollar this is a chocolate mill and you put pieces of chocolate in the top and you twist it and then it shaves the chocolate and makes little chocolate curls come out of the bottom. It's um, probably a good 50 or more years old. It's from a company called Cooney, C-O-O-N-E-Y. I uh, should be able to make about 10 on that. Bought a salt and pepper. Jeez, oh, hello. Salt and pepper set. This is from uh, William Bounds Company. I bought another pepper grinder from that same company I think about a year ago. Um, this particular set was designed by Robert Wilhelm and this is part of their pep art uh, line. It does have some wear but there's not another set um, of this color up on eBay so we'll have to see what happens with that. I, but I only paid a dollar for the set. Well, I'm hoping to at least get 10 out of it. We'll see. Paid way too much for this enamel dish. I've sold enamel pieces in the past and done pretty well on them and I bought it because it had a name on it. It's hard to read but I think it says Sylvia Rosenberg like 1964 or something like that. It's 1960 something. And they had four dollars on it. I paid four dollars for it. I thought you know she might be a known artist or something. I think this just might be a student piece. So, you know, maybe 10 on that. I also paid a little too much for this. Bought it because I know the name and I've sold the pieces before and had good luck with them. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it says Porsgrund, P-O-R-S-G-R-U-N-D. Um, it's a Norwegian company. And this is actually from uh, Royal Viking Cruise Lines. This is their logo. And I thought it was a bud vase. You can use them as a bud vase, but they're also peanut shakers. Apparently on the cruise lines, they fill these things with peanuts and you can shake them out into your hand. I'm assuming like at the bar and stuff like that. I don't know, I've never been on a cruise. So if anybody knows, let me know. I paid four for it, um, probably get about 10. Then, um, another piece, I don't know, I'll make my money back, but I paid a little bit more than I wanted to. Um, got this Port Marion, uh, Botanic Garden, this is called a drum jug, or a drum pitcher, because of the shape, and 
I've bought Botanic Garden before, done pretty well. I've never found any of the really, really good home run pieces. But this particular pattern of drum jug, I can't find anywhere. I can't find it on replacements.com. So I'm hoping that's a good thing. I paid eight for it. Hoping to get a minimum of like 30. And I got two little pewter figurines. I got this little owl. It says Kirk Pewter 754 on the bottom. I think he was like, I don't know, 25, 50 cents, something like that. And then this little guy, someone has him up as an oil lamp, but I think he's more of an incense burner. You put the cone in here and light it and blow it out, and then the smoke comes out of his mouth. Really cool little piece. Um, this is from Perth Pewter, P-E-R-T-H. And I think it's 88? Yeah, I think it's 1988. I also paid probably a quarter or 50 cents for that. Then I paid 50 cents for this Lennox uh, Yuletide locomotive ornament. These actually sell really well. I should be able to get about 25 with free shipping out of that. Then found this coffee mug. This is the only one I bought because like I said with shipping charges going up so much and being a lot more selective with coffee mugs this year. This is Arabia Finland which is a great name. Uh, one of my first home runs I ever bought was an Arabia Finland pitcher with a big blue bull on it. It was ugly as sin and it sold, I paid five bucks, it sold for $193 and they paid an extra 40 something dollars to have it shipped to Australia. So um, really great pieces if you can find them. This mug is from their Sunrose pattern and I'm hoping to get about 20 on it. I can't find any prices on replacements.com. They don't have any in stock. And there's no recent sales of the mugs on eBay. Um, let's see, what else, what else, what else? Okay, I got this little hand-painted needlepoint canvas of this cute little guy, and I have no idea what he is. He kind of looks like Santa, and he kind of looks like an elf because he's got pointy ears and pointy shoes, and then he looks like a fairy or an angel because he's got wings. <laughs> so, I don't know. If anybody knows what company made this, please let me know. And it says product of Germany here on the back. Um, so I don't know, but it's really cute. I paid a buck. Um, don't know what I'm going to get out of this. We'll have to wait and see. Hopefully at least, I don't know, maybe 20. Okay. Then I got this little candy dish. Bought it because it said Villarine Bach French Garden Christmas. And turns out it's a candy dish. Only worth maybe about 15 to 20, but I only paid a dollar for it, so that's okay. I was hoping it would be one of those more desirable pieces. It would be worth like 50 or 60, but no such luck. All right, um, got some Bibles. I got this Eastern, Order of the Eastern Star Bible. This was the um, kind of female branch of the Masons. Uh, I think my grandmother was in Eastern Star and my grandfather, actually both my grandfathers were Masons. And this is an illustrated one. I haven't seen a lot of illustrated ones on eBay. So, hoping that that helps in the sale of this. It's in really, really nice shape. And I believe that all the Bibles were 50 cents. And I got another one of these Reary Study Bibles. Unfortunately, this one's not in as great a shape as the other one that I got. Um, this has a bi bison grain cover. I'm assuming that's, yeah, leather. Buffalo leather, I don't know. Um, but it's not as, you know, soft as the leather on the other book that I bought. And this one's from 1976, 1978. But the inside's in really good shape. It does have some wear right here, but other than that, the inside's in great shape. So, 50 cents, um, should be able to get about, I would say, 20 on it. Then I got this really 
ancient Bible that's falling apart. I think it's a pocket Bible, even though it's a little big and clunky. Um, it says Mary Phelps on the front, and there's an inscription inside, but I can't really read it. I'm going to have to look in some really good lighting, try and figure out what it says. This is from 1880, 1877, I think. And, like I said, it is kind of sad and falling apart, but, you know, people like antique Bibles, and this one's from the American Bible Society, uh, which is also a plus, because a lot of people collect those specifically. All right, and then, God, I'm 15 minutes already. I'm going to make another video and show you guys everything from the other rummage sale and the garage sales. All right, and this is a set of little prayer books. These are celluloid covers. They come in, uh, they're all about the same size, but they all have, uh, there's a lot of different patterns on them. This one's in really nice shape. Uh, don't know what the date is on that. And then this one has a really pretty cover. Looks like it's got mother of pearl inlay and everything. But as you can see, it needs some TLC. So I'm going to sell these together since this one's in bad shape and hoping to make, I don't know, 20, maybe a little bit more on those. And finally, the last thing I bought at that first rummage sale was this. And this is a Honeywell of... Uh, Vision Pro TH8000 series programmable touchscreen thermostat. I paid five bucks for it. It works great and should be able to get at least 50 bucks out of that. So that was probably my best purchase of the day. All right, guys, um, I'm going to come back and do part two of this haul because I still have to go through the other rummage sale and all the garage sales. So thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.